preparations are underway to start the second phase of reconstruction in the Gatala region, which became the epicenter of the earthquake in May 2012. Construction of houses and public facilities, which is led by the Minister of Emergency Situations, was suspended because of frost and for financial reasons. The damage that the earthquake caused was assessed, and necessary funds were allocated for reconstruction work, but now the situation has changed said the deputy mayor of Zagatala region, Elman Ramazanov, in an interview with journalists. A team consisting of the journalists of Yeni Musavat and Azalut newspapers, Turan News Agency, and coordinator of Kursival Society, Oktay Gulaliev, came to Zagatala for the second monitoring. The first was made early in November last year. Ramazanov said that following the earthquake, numerous tremors occurred last summer and autumn, which also affected houses. Last quake of magnitude 4.5 happened on December 29th. Dozens of houses became damaged and cracked after the earthquake. But local residents are dissatisfied, saying that the commissions set up by the MES do not fairly estimate the damage that their houses suffered. My house is on the brink of collapse, but I was given only 5,000 minutes for repairs, complained Nazim Musayev, resident of Gandak village. Villagers complained that MES representatives do not use any devices or equipments for measurement of damage, but just visually inspect the house and draw conclusions. Even Minister himself, Kemal Etan Haydarov, who lacks relevant knowledge, examined one of the houses and said that it needed partial repairs. Houses are built without closets, cheap and low-quality materials are used, and construction work is done by low-skill workers. This is why the secondary school building constructed last autumn in the village of Faldor is gradually falling apart. 320 million minute allocated funds have already been spent, but many houses are incomplete or have not been repaired. The monitoring revealed that only 30% of the reconstruction and repairs work has been completed. Some families even live in unfinished houses. Also, workers hired to engage in construction are unwilling to work because of low salaries. Even one of the workers, Tofik Zargiev, is reported to hang himself after failing to get his wages. It is noteworthy that last September earthquake damaged about 2,500 houses in the neighboring Balakan region, of which 1,500 are unfit for habitation. A small number of houses were built in this region as well. Just like the regions, Flooded by the river Kur in 2010, the northwest region has also turned into unfinished construction site with multi-million cost and low efficiency. These two examples clearly show that the state with a large army, huge building capacity and funds is not able to respond to challenges of nature.